Marquis, who are the new distributors, Spanish company Benimar, which is part of the large Trigano group, has returned to the UK with the five model Malia range, all based on the newly facelifted Fiat Ducato. This Malia, the 294, is the longest in the group at 7.39 metres, which is just over 24 feet. But within that, you get travel seating for four and sleeping provision for five. Now, following best modern practice, the sturdy construction is virtually wood free and the external panels are all GRP. Now, you'll have noticed that although this is a continental motorhome, Marquis has specified that the habitation door should be on the UK near side. Full marks for that. Now, let's go inside and have a look. The lounge is typically continental, with all the seating, including the forward-facing travel seats, arranged around the fixed table. At a pinch, you could probably accommodate five quite comfortably. But this tabletop here, it does move around in all directions and fold over, just to make a little bit more space. Lighting is extremely good, and there's this huge overcab skylight. And for telegogglers, we have a television point over there by the door. There's no lower level storage because the fresh water tank resides underneath the forward facing travel seats and the Truma Combi 4E boiler lives here underneath this near side seat. However, there are overhead lockers and these are attached to the base of the drop down double bed. Underneath, you could also have a single bed. This is made just by dropping the fixed table and rearranging a few of the seat cushions. The kitchen is bijou. There's not a lot of room to turn round, but there is everything here that you might possibly require. There's a good sized stainless steel sink with lid, plenty of work surface, and a triplex cooker has two gas burners and an electric plate, and a combined oven grill underneath. Storage is in this overhead locker here, and in three good sized soft closed drawers at the end of the unit. Opposite we have the fridge and the freezer of a combined capacity of 149 litres and above at a very safe and sensible height the 800 watt microwave. Up again and we have a good big storage cupboard. Behind the kitchen you go up a small step and through a sliding door into the washroom area and the rear bedroom. Now I'll open the door but prepare yourselves for a surprise. Whenever you go through here, you're accosted by the sight of yourself walking towards you in this huge full length mirror. It's a little disconcerting, but the mirror does conceal lots of slim shelving. Access to the rear bedroom is through two sliding doors, one on either side of the mirror. On this side we have the shower cubicle, so just to ensure there's plenty of room, the shower cubicle doors fold inwards and you walk across the shower tray which is infilled with a duckboard. The rear bedroom is very private and the island bed provides a very cosy place from which to watch television which can be mounted on the end wall. Lighting is good and there's ample headroom to sit up in bed and read. The storage in a wardrobe here on this side of the bed, good cupboard on that side and yet more underneath the foot of the bed in two drawers on that side and a cupboard on this. A slightly odd feature of the bedroom is that if you want to get from one side to the other, unless you're going to scramble across the bed, you have to go out of one door and in through the other. It's certainly set up for a game of hide and seek, or a bedroom farce. It's nice to see Benimar back in the UK once more. 
and this Miley 0294 would make a very good motorhome for year-round long-distance touring and it comes in at around £50,000. However, the payload at 275 kilograms is a bit skimpy, so you might want to undertake a free chassis upgrade to 3,650 kilograms. It's just a paper exercise and well worth doing. Thank <laughs> you.